Hello again. Today I want to share a story with you called Ricky's Birdhouse by Monica Wellington. We've been talking a lot about mammals and today I want to talk to you about birds. Birds are not mammals. Birds have feathers and wings and birds lay eggs. So let's read about Ricky's Birdhouse. All year long, many different kinds of birds come to Ricky's yard. He loves to watch them and feed them and listen to them sing. The pair that flash their blue feathers are new to his yard. Ricky wants the beautiful bluebirds to stay in his yard. He has an idea. Ricky draws up a plan for his project. He gets out his toolbox and gathers all the supplies he will need. And right here, right here in this corner, he's actually starting a journal about his project and about the birds. So he got out a notebook and then he wrote the date of the day, September 29th. So it's fall right here in this story. The blue bird carries the sky on his back is what he wrote. He likes birds. Ricky measures and saws the wood into six pieces. He makes a small round opening in one piece. And his journal says, October 4th, I check the measurements carefully before I saw. Now, of course, kids should not use a saw. They would have to have a grown up help them with a project like this if you were going to build a birdhouse. He puts the parts together, carefully following his plan. He glues and hammers and sands. It's a lot of work to make a birdhouse. And his journal says, October 7th. Ouch, I hit my thumb. Yeah, that's why you should let grown-ups use the tools. He paints and adds the finishing touches. Ricky has built a beautiful birdhouse. October 10th, this is what he wrote in his journal. My cat always wants to go outside to hunt the birds, but I never let her. It was hard to choose colors. I left blue and red for my birdhouse. So he's painting it blue and red. He picks a safe place to mount it in his yard. He has made the house specifically for the bluebirds. He is hoping they will settle into it and make it their home. And in his journal, he wrote, I hope the bluebirds will stay here this winter. See the birds in the tree? And this is something you can do at home. Look out your window or if you're out playing in your yard, look around and see what birds you see. Maybe you could draw pictures of them or start a journal about them. Wonder how many different kinds you can see and what colors they would be. Winter comes. Some birds have flown south to warmer places. We talked about that in kindergarten, how some birds migrate. Many birds have stayed, but it is too hard for them to find enough food. Seeds and berries are buried under the snow. Ricky prepares some special foods to put out for the birds. Ricky loves to play in the snow in his yard. The birds play with him too. Look at all those birds. How do you think Ricky feels? Yeah, I think he's enjoying that. I think he's pretty happy about it. But when it is dark, Ricky is happy to be warm inside. He hopes the bluebirds are sleeping in the birdhouse, cozy and protected at night. Now it's all the way in February in the story, middle of winter. I'm getting ready for Valentine's Day. Lots to do. Blue bird blue, I love you. Making Valentine's for the birds. In the spring, that's what season we're in now. In the spring, many birds migrate back from the south and return to Ricky's yard. They start to build their nests. Ricky helps them by putting out extra supplies, such as scraps of fabric and yarn. He's excited to see the bluebirds going in and out of the birdhouse. 
They must be building a nest there. That's exciting. They must be getting ready to lay eggs. Because birds are not like mammals. They do not give birth to live babies. They lay eggs. That's why they need a nest. Ricky is busy working in his garden. It is time to plant sunflowers. The birds love them, and he does too. He keeps a close eye on the birdhouse. He hopes the mother bluebird is sitting on her eggs now, keeping them warm. There are going to be baby birds soon. May 4th, bird day. Today I'm going to count all the birds I see in my yard. Ooh, that's something else fun you could do is count the birds you see. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Ricky spots three baby bluebirds in the birdhouse. The parents are very busy finding good food for them to eat. Little birds love worms and insects. In the summer, there are many beautiful birds in Ricky's yard. The sunflowers are growing tall and there are lots of good things for the birds to eat. Best of all, the young bluebirds are learning to fly and fend for themselves. Ricky loves to listen to them sing and he sings with them too. Something else fun you can do is sing a song with the birds when you hear them chirping. Ricky harvests the sunflower seeds in the fall. Everyone is getting ready for winter. Soon it will be cold and Ricky will start feeding the birds extra food again. He has projects on his mind. He wants to build more birdhouses for more birds in his yard. It's time to get out the toolbox again. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed our story about birds and you learned a few facts about birds that you maybe didn't know before. And let me know if you spot any birds in your yard. You can send me a photo or maybe write down and count how many you saw or draw a picture. Bye friends, I'll see you next time.